Hello friends, welcome to this course on HyperMesh. In the previous lecture, we were doing the meshing of a 2D component. Until now, we had started the meshing and we had done the meshing of this part. So if you want to work along with me, you can also go to your project file and open this file that is clip mid surface one. So I click cancel from here. Now we have to do the meshing of remaining part. So to do the meshing, let's zoom in here. So here we can see we have fillet part. To do the meshing of this fillet part, I press the F12 from the keyboard and go to auto mesh here we need to select the surface and then and then select this surface and then click on this mesh and now we can see if i zoom in here from this part so let's zoom in if i select the one number of element it will not properly capture the fillet so to properly capture the fillet we need to select at least two number of rows so here, if I make a check on this link opposite edge and click on 2 here and then press the roller. So automatically on the opposite size, two number will be selected. So that is the advantage of selecting this option. And here we can see when I select the two, op two number of rows, it has properly captured the fillet. So I click return from here. After that we need to continue doing the meshing. So I select this surface and then mesh. So we have to make sure on the rectangular area to select the equal number of elements on both sides. So I zoom in here we can see number of elements are equal. So hit the roller of the mouse and then zoom out. So once again this is a fillet. So select the surface and then mesh. So select two here and then mesh and then zoom out and click on return. After that we need to do the meshing of the surface. But here inside the surface we can see we have some curved part. So let's say I directly do the meshing of this curved part. Select the surface and then mesh. So I hit the roller. So now we can see the mesh is not proper. Here we can see it is not creating a proper mesh. Also here the mesh is not good. So in this types of situation where we have a curved geometry. So I click reject from here. I don't want the mesh and click on return. Once again click return. So basically in this types of situation we will have to split this surface. Now generally if you want to split the surface we have to make sure we create the rectangles. Now to understand this, press the F11 from your keyboard. Also you can go to geometry or quick edit. I prefer the shortcut keyboard so press F11 and then here we have two options. Split surface and split line. So we can select node to node and node to line. I am selecting node to line. So what is the advantage we can see? So I zoom in. I split this surface from this node. So select this node and then select this line. So with this option it will always create a perpendicular line. Once again from the other side I select this node and select the opposite line. Here we can see we have split the surface. So basically with this splitting we can see we have created a rectangle inside. So with this rectangle we can properly create the mesh. So press the F12 from your keyboard and then let's say I first I select this surface and then mesh. So now we can see we have equal number of element in all the sides. So that is the advantage of selecting the rectangle. Click on return. Now I zoom in here and then do the mesh. So select the surface select the surface and click on this mesh and right now we can see again the mesh is not proper so it is because so I click on reject from here so basically here we can see we have an extra point and because of this point the mesh is not coming proper now to remove this point 
what i can do is i go to this i go to the f11 press f11 and then go to add and remove point click on this when i click on the left click it will add the point and when i click on the right click so take the mouse on to this and then make a right click and here we can see the point has been removed so press the f12 and then select the surface and now we can see the mesh is proper press escape so it is a much better mesh and once again we need to do same thing on the other side so f11 then remove this point right click and then f12 select the surface and then mesh press escape and then zoom out after that we need to create the mesh onto this side so here we can see it is basically a straight surface so we can select all the three surfaces at a single time so zoom out and then select this surface this surface and this surface and then mesh here we can see we have fillet area so select the number of element 2 here and also here the number of elements are 2 mesh and then press escape so after that we have created the mesh of meshing of this area we have to start doing the mesh here once again in meshing we cannot select the large area because it will not create a proper mesh now to do the meshing of this type of area what we can do is we can split this so we can split this point up to this point so here i will select f11 so right now what i do is i will select node to node from this node up to this node click here so now we have split the surface and once again we have this curved surface so go to this node to surface node to line from this node up to this line and then do the mesh f12 select this and this so we can select multiple at a single time and then press escape and here we can see we have back to back trias so generally in meshing this is not accepted now to do this i go i will have to remesh it now to correct it i will have to remesh it so go to this element from here hold down the shift key and then drag the rectangle like this and select all these elements and then mesh and press escape now we can see we have proper elements so zoom out and after that we need to do the meshing of this surface so now we can see it is a plain surface from here we can select the complete surface okay so i go to this surface i select this complete surface so select this complete surface and then press escape so all the number of elements i am taking this as default so after that we can do the meshing of this part so right now here we can see this is basically a straight, straight forward part i select this fillet mesh and then we have to make sure the number of elements on both sides are equal and then select number of elements two here and then mesh press escape and then we can select all the surfaces at a single time so here we can see it is a straight surface so select this surface this surface and this surface and then mesh so we just have to make sure of the fillet onto this fillet the number of elements should be 2 then mesh so on the other side we can take the equal number of elements press escape and then go to the surface here so i will select this surface once again two elements and press escape so again this is a curved surface so what i am doing this time i will select the surface and then do the mesh i can select this option of mesh style here select the mix set all set all and then align and set all mesh so here we can see the mesh is much better and i can press escape so in this areas what i can do is i can remesh them so go to this remesh and then hold down the shift and left click from the mouse then drag the mouse like this 
and then mesh so we can change the number of elements here let's say this is 10 okay 9 8 okay 8 is good press escape so when i select the 8 number of elements we can see the mesh is proper so here we can also remove this trya so hold down the shift key and select all these elements and then mesh press escape here we can see we have removed the trier so we just have to make sure we keep as many as less number of trier elements and similarly we can also do the remesh here so zoom in and then remesh so select the elements here let's say i select 8 and press escape after that we will have to do the meshing of these surfaces so i can select all the surfaces at a single time so here we need to select the surface this surface this surface and select this surface click on mesh and then again in the fillet we need to make sure at least we have two rows of element but here we can see visually it is a much bigger fillet so if we have a bigger fillet we need to use at least three elements so so select three elements and again in the in this fillet this is a much bigger fillet so here we need to select the three elements so later in the course we will learn what is the criteria of select the elements inside the fillet so initially i'm just selecting just for the simple reference press escape so now we have done the meshing of this part so we will continue this in the next lecture i am saving this as a part 2 so clip mid surface this is part 2 and save